My name is Aura Goodwin. I'm the CEO of Success Gardens. I, I love Success Gardens. Um, it's a place where people have the opportunity to, to show their growth. It's a place where we help the communities come together and individuals that are small business come in and show their talent. Um, we also do garden, but we also focus on rebuilding our community and giving people the space and a platform to succeed and success garden. Benefit of the garden was to teach people how to eat healthy and grow their own food and products. Not only that, show the community that you can eat healthy and you don't have to go to local stores to um, purchase high priced things because you can grow it yourself. We are at 461 Williams Avenue. If you want to reach me, it's at uh, gauntandsuccess, number four, at gmail.com. We're also on Instagram at uh, Success Gauntin Community. If anybody's interested in being a volunteer or just want to come out and plant things, plant your own things, become a member. We need volunteers because we don't have the funding to um, to remove certain things. And because we're on Green Thumb, we look for volunteers to come and to help. Um, it's more about community work and, and getting the community together to take care of the community. So we reached out to um, 500 men, corrections, and um, other little small organizations that came through, Home Depot came through, and to try to help us get a base to where we can teach how to plant the right things in the right spot. So they cleaned up all of this, which I'm so thankful for. Now we can have pumpkin patches and watermelon patches, and we might can grow some peas. To And then we can, um, when Home Depot comes to try to help us do our platform over, we'll have a brand new stage. Let's be real, a lot of the community don't know about Success Gardens. They don't know what's really going on. They just see us back here growing collard greens and watermelons and we think that's what we're doing. But they live in this community. So I really try to reach out to them all the time. And I think that this summer, I did a really good thing with connecting everybody. We do a lot of summer events in here. We do a lot of give backs in here. Um, I'm trying to get them involved. Hopefully when Thanksgiving come around and we feed our community, they will be in here also serving each other. My name is Betty Skinner Mosley, and I live right down the block at 416 Williams Avenue. And I became involved with Success Garden three years ago because I seen this beautiful space here and nobody was utilizing. They had been a couple of years earlier, but then it was just left sitting there. So I found out who was in charge and I contacted them to ask them if we could have a garden here. And that was the, that was the start. I started asking the neighbors in the, um, on the block first because that's who I knew. Then I reached out to other neighbors and I told them to pass the word that we were going to have a garden here. But not many people want to participate. So we just a few of us and we just did our thing here. I don't know. I don't know. I asked. This is like nobody wanted to be involved. I guess they didn't believe in it. I don't know, but we believed in it. And it's a beautiful area. So that's why I said the few of us, we started and we tried to get more people. So now more people are becoming interested in it. So let's hope it grows to be a nice place. Started out with tomatoes. Everybody likes tomatoes. Cucumber. Um, we had, I had Swiss chard. Callaloo. But we don't have it. The Callaloo season is kind of over now. It was a little bit of Swiss chard, but my husband picked them. <laughs> and then we have um, eggplant, collard greens, uh, spinach, um, peppers, assortment of peppers. The pumpkin kind of like took over. They did very well this year, the pumpkins. No chemical, just dirt that we got from, um, I forgot the name of the organization that bought us the dirt and the uh, compost. Mm -hmm. They're Explain. sweet, they're sweet. You pop them and you eat them like when you're picking them. You pop them and you eat them. You say, oh my God, these tomatoes taste so good. I just eat them. They are delicious. Yes, they are. They're missing fresh vegetables, 
not have to buy them. Don't cost as much for some seeds. It's free, you know. They're missing out on the best things in life. Healthy, we're supposed to be eating healthy mm. with all the chemicals and stuff that they put in on our food and things. And this, you don't have no chemicals, just the rain. Come from, that's it. And I don't know why they don't want to be involved. It's not that much work. It does take work. You know, coming down, watering, picking up the weeds. It does taste work. And just give it some tender love. They talk to the plants and things, you know. And they've been growing really nice. We're, we're very happy with it down here. They did such a beautiful, beautiful job. I'm so happy. We can see the space even more. We can even build more boxes so more people can join. This is very, 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 I'm so happy, proud of them. So happy. I didn't live over here at that time. I lived on the other side of Pennsylvania, but I grew up in East New York, and I went to Thomas Jefferson High School, you know. But at that time, I mean, I knew about it, but I didn't live in this area. This area was left alone for about, what, 30, 40 years. It didn't do anything over here. But now they're building up, and the rents are coming. Very expensive, and a lot of people who've been living here, they're kind of like chasing them out because the rents, they can't afford. You know, their income doesn't afford them to pay the kind of rent that they're asking for today in this area. Somebody sees a p the potential in the future for this area. Yes, they do. That's why they, you can't find a vacant, how, a vacant lot, first of all, now. And most of the houses that were, like, weren't up, kept, kept up, now they're bought. Somebody owns them. Somebody owns them. Mm -hmm. And they're trying, to, they're trying to get us to sell our houses, too cash you know they put things under the door in the mailboxes but nah I ain't going nowhere not me some of them have moved out but I'm not going nowhere now nah, I like it here my name is Rosetta Herbert I'm a member of success garden community group and I'm also a gardener here I take care of all of this well four years ago I was walking past here and I ran into Miss Betty which you just finished talking to and she told me that I can also have a bed here and I got a bed here and I just ran with it the beds for the garden the garden to put the vegetables and the fruits in these are the beds right here with the tomatoes in once you get the bed you're supposed to pay dudes once annually you have to pay dudes and keep your bed clean so that you can get around and do things in here you also have to try to maintain the ground I'm so happy that something is being done and it's looking well. I love them for it. They did everything that I couldn't do. They, they cut down all the weeds here. They, they uh, picked, bagged up things. Uh, they're doing a lot. There's so many things that they're doing here that I can't do. We need more volunteers and we need members too. We need the community to come in and help out too because this is a community-based thing and we all supposed to work together as a community. I don't know why the people don't want to volunteer more, but I know I thank the people that's volunteering <laughs> right now. I really needed them and they came in and they did what they had to do. My name is Wayne Devonish. I'm with 500 Men Making a Difference and we're out here in East New York with the Success Garden. We've just organized one of our biggest initiatives out here in East New York and it was spearheaded by a gentleman I'm so very proud of, Mr. James Frazier, who's actually in charge of our networking events. But this brother took such a passion and such an initiative for his hometown, for his home neighborhood, that he organized, I believe, one of our biggest cleanup events that we've ever done in 500 Men history. He had close to 100 people out here cleaning and clearing this entire close to six acres of parkland and just making it amazing and we just let's give him a round of applause here Absolutely. yeah let him say something about the work he did and and organized the, the work also an, an amazing lunch say something brother great first of all thanks for Bellamy's what's up TV you know we go way back from IFTV days um, big respect to Aura and Rose um, she's the president and one of the gardeners out here in East New York all the brothers for East New York um, all the brothers from 500 Men, all the brothers that came down from my own neighborhood, the ladies and everything is a collective. Um, thank you for DOC for coming by. Um, Brooklyn Mobile Tours. Um, and so many other people 
But oh yeah, thanks for East Fusion East Restaurant and also Seafood Seafood Restaurant. I can't remember the name right now, but I get that. But thanks for everybody for coming through. It's all about the uh, the community, and East York is my hometown. Um, I spoke to Aura about that. She's the president of Success Garden, and um, it's a lot of different. Some things is politics. Other people getting funding, or other people have more people to volunteer. But uh, me, me, someone outside looking in, is all about marketing and strategy, and we, we're all about networking. So when I spoke to Aura, I said, "Listen, we're going to organize." and show you how to organize. You know, so she told me I was her mentor, and I was like, no, I'm not your mentor, but, but uh, just show how to organize, how to get people out and such. You know, so I just think more people should use that as a blueprint. Um, be creative in getting people out. I know it's not sexy, I and mean, we have Beyonce here or selling Popeye's chicken sandwich. We have 500 people here, but I think it's more about um, strategy. They could check us out on Facebook, on Instagram, our website, 500menmakingadifference.com, and uh, they could give, give us a call uh, directly, 917-297-2365. Oh, it, was, it was a total jungle. I mean, overgrown, beyond belief, and, um, you know, everyone just came in here, rolled up their sleeves, and, and got busy. Nobody started, you know, giving out orders. Everyone just got to work and just, just started pitching in and you know just kind of annihilated uh, the, most of the overgrowth and you know we have a nice template now to work with you know this was actually supposed to be three days you know we got it done this morning so now we can really look to really enhance it and have Home Depot come in and map it out for the spring so that we can have a really amazing garden yeah we'll probably come back another two times before Christmas um, just to really flatten it out a little bit more and then we start again in the springtime when Home Depot um, does the plan for the garden. So, you know, we really want to sink our teeth into doing work out here and, and we, we're embracing this garden like m other gardens we have. We have a garden in Harlem that we work with, a garden and well, a park in, in Bed-Stuy, Vaughn King Park, Morningside Park in Harlem. So we, we're really spreading our wings and trying to make things happen. We're going on year 10, so we're really trying to have some impact all through the five boroughs. My name is Java. In my role today, I was the uh, grill man. Yeah, I made sure everybody eat. Frank's hamburgers. We had some jerk chicken, some rice, and we had some desserts. We had some desserts as well. Rainbow Car Service, Mr. Printer, Borda Bitta Tonic.